Hello, Triforce Sky one here from the 3dsportal.wordpress.com and today we're going to review Rayman 3D. Rayman. Now, before I start, let me just say this is pretty much a direct port from Rayman 2 on the Dreamcast. It's had many ports from like the PS2, Nintendo 64, and it was even a launch title to the old DS. Okay, so generally it's not that bad, but it isn't good either. It's got quite a long loading start, but okay, as you can see, the sounds. Well, let's see in a sec. But so let's put it in this. Okay, so let's go to load game. Generally, it, sometimes the sound sounds like it's crack. It's playing really loudly through crap speakers. But generally, that's I've tried it with other softwares, and it's fine on the Nintendo 3DS. So it's not a problem with the system. It's problem with the actual game. Okay, so pretty much Rayman has, has escaped from this pirate ship place and he has to gather all these lambs to progress in the world to defeat Captain Razorbeard and you have to find these four masks, probably spoiling a lot for you. Yeah, and I only played Rayman Revolution, which was a PS2 remake of Rayman 2, and it, I just don't recognise. I'm guessing the Dreamcast had this sort of layout with selecting levels with world select. Generally, I preferred the hub world where you could explore around a bit. I don't know why. It's just, it feels much more free. It feels like you've got more freedom than a the um, world map. So let's try the tutorial level first. Okay, generally the controls are quite solid. There's no problem with the controls whatsoever. Okay, so let's see. So B is to jump. B and press B is to use your helicopter. Y is to obviously shoot. Hold down Y if you've got the power is to do that. The right trigger is to look around a bit. It's not inverted controls, which kind of I had to get used to for a bit because I'm always used to inverted controls for the camera viewpoints. And finally, the left trigger is to center the camera and also to, it's used in combat to aim on the closest enemy to, to you. So it's generally quite simple. It's quite good with the 3D effects. It's actually, you can see, it's not like normal 3D, it's like, it just looks much better with the 3D. As you can see, it's, the graphics are revamped a bit, but not by much. And I, I actually quite like the music. It's just a shame that sometimes it sounds like it's playing through a crap speaker, as I said before. And so, let's put this, go to another level. Okay. Generally the loading times are quite quick, it's just a pain that it loads like every time you exit a level, every time you enter a new bit of the level, yeah. But other than that, it's quite solid. Very bleed. Okay, so I've already completed all the levels, so I don't really need to do all the tasks. But you can probably see from here how it's cracking. Okay, it's just... Sorry, it's a bit hard playing through the camera screen. I'm also kind of disappointed that. 
uh, they didn't use the voice acting like they did in Rayman Revolution. It seemed quite a pain. In the butt. But you can't ask for everything. One thing I would complain about is the uh, camera controls because it doesn't seem. Sorry about that, um, I was just going out to get something for my mum for Mother's Day. Anyway, yeah, so like I was saying, the camera controls can be a bit funny at times. But other than that, the controls are pretty solid. So, let me just get to a place where... I need to mention something about. Oops, I left the 3D on for a sec there. Don't know. Sorry about leaving the 3D on, I was on it in the car. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's. I don't think it, they should have had it for the normal DS, but it seems to be quite good for the 3DS because you've got the control pad and the 3D effects. Oh, I forgot to mention about the 3D effects. They work quite well. It's just during some of the cutscenes when it can get a bit. bit messy at times like it won't properly overlay the images. Why do I keep doing that? But other than that in like more cut bright and vibrant levels such as this one the 3D is really amazing especially when you've got like the mosquito things trying to just look at looking at you. and the waterfalls and just everything in the bright and vibrant what bits of it. Okay, so... Loading again. So I'm not talking, I'm just kind of concentrating, making sure I don't make any rough decisions. Okay, as you can see, it's, another problem with sound is it doesn't change when it's supposed to, because I think when I originally played it, it's supposed to change after you defeat the Depire at the end there. But then again, it was like 10 years since I last played it. And another thing is coming up where it should change, but it never did. As you can see, it just goes silent, which I think shouldn't happen. But uh, it's just like another thing, like they ported the sound really badly. Anyway, so I guess that's the end of the review. So, positive points. Most of it looks great in 3D. It's Rayman, we finally get a proper Rayman game. The controls are pretty solid. 
and here are the negative points. The camera controls can be a bit funny. 3D effects don't work very well during the uh, cutscenes, and the music, port the ported music, is a bit dodgy. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope this helps you decide on to if you're going to buy the game or not. At its pr current price at 40 quid, it's not worth it. I'd wait until it gets down to half, at least half the price at about 20, 20 to 25 pounds. But for now, I'll just leave it as it, it really isn't worth the money. Okay, and thanks for watching, and see you next time.